How's it going guys? It's Rude Chunky here and today's video we're going to be talking about Samsung, Samsung devices. Well, specifically the newer Samsung devices like the S6, the S7, Note 7 when it comes out, anything really after that. Um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be showing you how to use an application from Samsung called Smart Switch to firmware restore, unbrick, unroot, remove viruses on the phone, basically completely wipe out the phone and get it back to set, reset like it was when you bought it. So that's what we're gonna be doing in today's video. If you guys like it, let's go do it. All right, for this process to work, there's a couple things we're gonna to need to do. Um, the first thing is, is power off your device. Now, if you're in like a boot loop or whatever, it doesn't matter, just get the device kind of powering off. Um, if you're in a boot loop and something's not working, device isn't starting, whatever, Normally, if you just hold, we'll flip them over, uh, hold your volume down and power, that will kind of get the device to kind of do a reboot. And while you're doing that, also hold home. So home, volume down, and power. Just keep holding them, even if you're in a boot loop, until you see this screen, okay? As soon as you see this screen, there's a couple very, very important things to do. The directions say continue with volume up or power down to restart the phone. Um, we need to get into download mode to do this uh, restore, this firmware restore, um, and get the device functioning again. But there's some information you're going to need. In case your device won't boot, if you're booting, you can go into about phone and settings and get this information. But if you're not, I'm going to show you how to get it. So I'm going to cover up my IMEI number, which is going to come up right there. And you're going to hit the home button. And as you can see, there is a serial number right here. Above it is also your IMEI number. Now, I would take and write both of these numbers down. You're gonna need them when you use Smart Switch on the computer to identify your device. Um, so write both of them down, take a picture of them with another phone, whatever. Make sure you have them so we can move on with the process. Now we're just gonna boot it into download mode right here. So hit home again, and it, now it's in download mode. So in download mode, a couple things I wanna show you here, and it's all up here in the top. It's very important information, so let's check that out. So the information you're going to need here in download mode is basically this right here, your product name, which is actually your model number. And when we use Smart Switch on the computer, you're also going to need that information. But from here, you're in download mode. We have your model, your serial, your IMEI number. Those are the three most important things to have. Luckily, we can get them without a booting device in case your device doesn't work for some reason. And we got those three pieces of information. Now we can hook this thing up to the computer and use Smart Switch to restore the firmware, update the firmware. It can do quite a bit. Um, so let's go ahead and download those programs and go over to my computer. All right, guys, so here you go. This is Smart Switch for Samsung devices. Now, this is mainly for devices newer than the S6. So S6 or earlier or the S7. So it's for these newer devices. The older devices can use um, keys, and I have a videos on that. I'll link them in the video description. But if you have anything newer than the S6, this is the process you're going to use. So this is the Samsung site where you can download Smart Switch. And you're just going to scroll down here and you're going to download it. I mean, you can download it for um, your computer, which is fine, or for your um, devices, which is fine. But we only need it for the computer to restore the device. So you do see you have a PC version or a Mac version. I'm doing this on the PC, so I'm going to download this one. And it downloads the file right here. As soon as it gets downloaded, we can just launch the EXE and run it through the install process. Um, shouldn't be hard at all to install very simple let's see if it'll do it uh, I already have it installed so yeah okay so basically you just click the run button you go through the settings click 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 next 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 boom it installs smart switch very simple the cool thing about smart switch once it's installed it also uh, installs all the drivers you're gonna need so which is awesome so I'm gonna cancel it because I actually already have it installed right here it is once you open it you will have an icon on your desktop and you can just open it up and it should look like this okay um, currently in download mode if you attach your device it's not gonna recognize it but what we're going to do is we're going to go in here to more and we're going to go emergency software recovery and initialization. Now, um, a little warning about this process. So you're going to go to device initialization and this will actually wipe data factory set your device. So it's going to wipe off everything. Um, yeah, basically everything. I, I'm not, remember, I can't remember if this has an SD card on it. If, if you have pictures and stuff and files on your SD card, you should be good. But anything on the device itself or internal storage is going to be wiped off. 
So apps are gonna be gone, passwords, everything. So just be aware of that. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna type in that model number we got off the phone, you, which you actually can see right here in uh, download mode. And mine is the SM-G930T, hit search. And the next thing mine's asking me for is that serial number, which we got out of that home button menu where you had my IMEI and my serial number. So I'm gonna just copy my serial number in and pick paste and hit okay. And the next thing it does is it tells you again and warning you about the factory set protection like I just did. Um, read through all this, this stuff right here. It says it removes your Google accounts, all kinds of different things. So just be aware, hit okay. And then it tells you, okay, so it's gonna download the software you're gonna need for your device. So it tells you what you're gonna need. Um, basically, you're gonna have to have a pretty good internet speed because it's gonna download the firmware. So just kind of forewarning. So I went ahead and hit okay. And it should come back and start some of the process. So the first thing it wants me to do is to boot into download mode, um, just like I did. Well, I've already done that, we're in that mode. But you can see the button is grayed out, I can't click on it. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna take our USB cable, connect it to our computer, and plug it in. And what you're gonna see happen is if your drivers aren't installed, your drivers will install, and then the button will turn blue like it did right here. So from here, I'm just gonna go ahead and click OK, and it's gonna go ahead and prepare the device for the update. Now, what it does right here is it's downloading required files. Um, normally, Samsung firmware is two to four gigs. So if it has to go pull all of the latest firmware off their server and your internet speed is a little slow, it's gonna take a while. Um, you know, if you got really slow internet, it could take two days. You know, you just gotta leave your phone plugged in for days and just let it go. Um, if your internet speed's quick like mine, I've got 100 and about 100 megabytes down. Um, then you know you should be fine. You give it like an hour, you should be all downloaded. Um, their their server is pretty good, and you can see I'm at 11% already, um, so not too bad. But uh, basically, what's going to happen is you're just going to. I what I would do is I'd honestly walk away because at this point it's going to be just waiting, and you don't want to like bump your cable because then you're going to start the process all over again. Um, you know, if you bump the cable out of the phone or somebody knocks something, I just leave your stuff, walk away. And when you come back, your phone's going to be fully factory reset. Um, and so it shouldn't be too bad. So we're going to kind of just fast forward here and let this thing do its thing. Yeah, we're getting very, very close right now, which is awesome. Um, 85%. The one thing that's really nice about Smart Switch or Keys or any of these programs by Samsung is they download the firmware for you. They go find the correct firmware and they download it for the device. That's what's beautiful about it. I mean, you can use something like Odin. Um, and go find the firmware yourself and flash it through Odin, which is fine. If you want, if you know how to do that, if you're skilled enough to do that, um, then that's great. But if you're not, you get your model, your serial number, maybe your MEIE, and boom, you're rocking hit here. It'll go download the latest and greatest firmware for the device and update it for you or restore it. Or if you have a virus on your, on your phone, I mean, this will totally wipe that out. It'll take care of those issues. So there's just a lot of good perks of using a smart switch here on your Samsung device. So there we go, it's just shot to 100%, which is excellent. Um, and now it's doing the flash. So software update initialization. So probably what it's gonna do first is I think it has to extract the files that it downloaded. All right, so there you go. We have officially started up the process. Um, we're at 11% on the computer, 12%. And you can see we have the white progress bar on the phone. So um, it is moving along. Um, again, so basically this flash process now, the first download took, depending on your internet speed, mine took about six minutes. Um, this flash should take about five maybe. And then the first initial boot up is also gonna take some time, probably another like three or four. Um, so you're like total time to like do this whole process. You probably need like 30 minutes. By the time you download all the files, you get it all set up, you get it working right, you write down all your numbers that you need. It's about 30 minutes to, do, to really unbrick firmware restore your device. So I'm just gonna let this run through and just show it to you after the flash is finished. All right, the flash is wrapping up, which is excellent. 
Everything's looking pretty good. We're at 99, 100%, and boom. The device just rebooted. It's coming up here to recovery mode, and it's actually doing like a wipe data factory reset and recovery right now. This is totally normal. This is part of this thing, so it says erasing. Um, that's just part of the process. Anytime you do a firmware flash, that it does go ahead and does that. Um, so just normal, not a big deal. Uh, the one thing I think I remember seeing in early, last time I did it was like it flashed a whole bunch of blue lettering up here along the top, which I thought was a little interesting. Um, not sure what that was about. Uh, it's not a problem. Just I just haven't seen that before when I've restored other devices. Um, so. Anyway, yeah, basically from here, you're just waiting for the phone to boot up. It's it's pretty much done. It does say you can reconnect to the device um, on the computer if you want. Um, it's really not necessary. There you go. You're booting up. So we're going to close out our computer here. And there you go. You can see it's doing its rebooting uh, on the phone. So Samsung, that's beautiful. Like I said, this is on the S7, but it should work on the S6. If the Note like 7 comes out, it'll work on that. Smart Switch is what Samsung is using now on any of their new hardware. So um, I think this works on, I think Smart Switch works on the Note 5 too, but I'm not sure, honestly. It might still be keys. Um, but yeah, you know, like I said, if you want to see the keys video, uh, go check that out. I have a video on it, so you can definitely go see what's going on there. We're just going to let it boot up and just show you that we're restored. See, there you go. It is fully booted and ready to set up. So that is the process. That's how to unbrick, firmware, restore your device. Um, Samsung device, it also remove uh, any viruses that are on the phone, um, things like that. Any problems could be little hiccups. Maybe you rooted it and you want to unroot it. I mean, this will do all that. So um, there you go. Hope you guys like the videos. And uh, stay tuned for more on this device and many others. And we'll catch you in the next one. Root Junkie out.